Hey everyone, I want to do a video here of some of the products that I use, the Tecomec products. I got the breaker, the spinner, and the grinder. This is a Jolly Evo. You can get all this stuff off of eBay. Um, well, let's see, where do I start? This breaker and spinner here I had before I had the grinder. I only bought the grinder because I got these 30 inch loops of harvester chain that I grind every night. Uh, sometimes, depending on how much of a harebrained idea I have when I cut down some sketchy trees at the harvester, uh, I'll go through between one and five loops in a day depending on what I'm cutting I don't have the best wood to cut sometimes so sometimes it gets interesting so I bought the grinder so I could grind those um, the only difference of this grinder and the more expensive ones is the price that's it this thing here can do anything you want it to do that the more expensive ones can do um, I grind 404 chain on it I don't do my saw chain on it just because it only takes me a few minutes out in the woods to sharpen my chain with a hand file and uh, basically that's the break that I get during a day and I enjoy hand filing but sometimes those 30 inch harvester chains those can take a while because they get banged up pretty bad and uh, with them getting banged up pretty bad um, I'll break a chain every now and then and I'll have to break it and spin it on my Tecomec breaker and spinner. Basically I'm pretty organized here. I got .325 chain, my 404 and my 38050 which will be for my chainsaw. That's for the harvester and that's for smaller saws. And then I got myself one of these guys here for uh, measuring your chain and all I do is I got my 100 foot roll well what's left of a 100 foot roll of archer chain there I've been running archer chain and I like it uh, it's not bad chain it saves some money in the pocketbook and the only thing the only complaint I have about it is you gotta take a lot off the acres for it to cut other than that it cuts really good and then basically I just marked where my 72 drive links would be which says 79 on here but this doesn't start at 0 it starts at 40 so I just did my own thing and made it work but anyhow um, this spinner the spinner here in the breaker um, you don't need the expensive stuff there's nothing wrong with this uh, I've never had any issues with this thing yet everything's original and I've spun hundreds of feet of chain on here uh, off of that and I'm always breaking and spinning chain because I'm always just never know what you're gonna do with a harvester so even tonight I, I had to break a chain a few times and take I got parts chain down there I'd take a couple of uh, drive links out of it and put an old uh, chain back together because I bent some drives in it and I had some issues today on a double. So these get used daily. Um, the only thing I would say is if you do get a breaker, is get a new a new punch right away or a couple of them to have on hand. Um, they do break when they do all you gotta do is crank this guy down a little bit and where in the heck are you at there it is there's an allen right there that you loosen up and slide the new punch in but they ain't very expensive I've broken a few of them uh, it's not the end of the world 
if you do break one you have one on hand just pop it back and order another one <laughs> you always got one on hand but that's not the brand's fault that's just every one of them's going to do that uh i think there's an oregon punch in there right now and as far as this Tecomec uh, Evil Jolly is, um, I got no problems with this thing. I like it. Uh, I've ground a lot of chain on it. As you can see, I got a big old pile of dust on the floor. This thing's full of dust. I blow it off every now and then. Um, it's very easy to use and set up. My son, he's 11 years old. He grinds a lot of chain with it for me. And he enjoys using it. It's simple. Uh, like I said, I've, I grind 404 chain on it. You can grind any chain on it you want. It comes with a few different wheels. I got that little wheel on there right now. Um, like I said, set up, set up is however you prefer it. I run my chains at 30 degrees for the harvester and what I got set at here 55 and 30 there so that seems to be what works pretty good for me with that I can pull out one of my chains here show you what they look like after being ground I just do a quick job on them. It's got a little bit of a burr on it, but they sure do cut good. And that burr will wear off before too long. And I'll take and even grind my rakers with a dang thing, too. I just set it up so that the rakers... I guess I can show you. I'll adjust this guy back far enough to where when this guy comes down it'll be right right on top of your rake or whatever I know it comes down low there but you set your height with this knob here so you'd screw that knob out and then it'll only come down yay far or whatever and just buzz a little bit off my rakers it's quick you just go boom 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 one after the other as you go and it gets them all the same um, with harvester chain you can get away with that a little bit more than with chainsaw chain um, I don't know what else to say other than if you're looking for a decent product uh, that you don't have to spend all the big money to get a decent product you can spend a little less and get more honestly um, nothing wrong with Tecumac products uh, I put my name on them to stand behind them I guess you can say that Sugahara bars.